morning, everybody. How's everybody doing this morning? Good? Great. I don't uh, know. There you are. Yeah, I'm doing well. <clears throat> so we, better, we have a few minutes before we start. <clears throat> We're actually going to start in the chair and work our way up from the chair. So let me get <laughs> Somehow I went away. I don't know what happened. Oh. Somebody else was on? No. I just hit the screen saying Zoom. And then posted, what happened? Posted. To, should I come back in? Go out and come back in? You're on. I see you. You see me, but I don't see you. OK, so there should be a video button on your screen at, below. I don't see it. I don't know what happened. If you want, um, Chantel. Catherine, why don't you exit out and then come back in? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll be right back with you. All right. We'll wait for you. <clears throat> there you are. You're, ba you're back. Wonderful. <clears throat> All right. I don't know how to make the screen bigger. I don't know. Anyway, that's fine. I can see. Yeah, I mean, there should be on the, uh, to make it bigger, there should be, if you look on the top right, to make it the screen. Oh, there we are. Here uh -huh. we go. Excellent. Can you guys you see, see me? me big? <laughs> I don't necessarily need you to see me big. <clears throat> well, good morning, everybody. This is our third week during our classes. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed all the classes, virtual classes, um, knowing that it's so different than being at Prime Class. So again, in our classes, the bar classes, just making sure when we do our exercises on the floor or any of our poses, even standing up, is remembering to draw the navel into the body, tucking that tailbone so you have that support, okay? Take um, breaks as often as you like. So if your body's like, I need a break, take that break, okay? So we are going to start actually on the chair. Um, you can do this on the floor if you like. And what we're doing is just going to get a little warm up into the body as we um, slowly come up from the chair and really work out our muscles. And so, um, I know last week we kind of touched base on the, the arm and flexing it and just using those muscles. And I hope you guys had that chance to realize what difference was of just doing this and actually using the muscles of the body, okay? And so we're gonna do a touch base on that a little bit more today um, with our, our workout. So here we're gonna sit up nice and tall into the chair, okay? And from here again, you can use the floor if you like, you don't have to. We're just gonna bring our hands onto the knees and we're just gonna roll the hips just a bit. And as we do this, we're just not using the hips. That's part of it. We're also taking the navel into the spine, tightening the abs as we work this. And then we're gonna reverse other way around. Draw that navel in. You should feel your stomach muscles nice and tight. Good. And then we're gonna pause into center. We're gonna take the right heel out. Curl the toes back, lift through the heart, and then we're gonna hinge at the hips like a door. Just stretching that back leg out, and we'll do this again standing up. 
and then slowly round back up. And then we're gonna take out the other leg. Again, drawing, um, lengthening through the crown of the head, pull those toes back and coming forward. And notice that everything is in line. My leg is not out here, it's not here, everything's in line. And then you're gonna slowly come up. Good, we're gonna take the right leg out. This time we're gonna point that toe and all you're going to do is, is lift the leg just a tiny bit up, 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 up. Okay, so to a count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower that leg down, just shake it out a bit. Again, we're just warming up here, so don't push yourself too much. Take the left leg out, hands on the hips, or onto the chair, whatever you choose to do. If you're on the floor, just lean back a bit, and then hold the hands to the side, and you're just gonna lift the leg just slightly. Point those toes, engage the thighs, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax. We'll do another round. So if you want a little bit more on the chair or a little bit more on the floor, you're gonna take the right leg out and then you're gonna lift that left leg. And you're gonna notice you're gonna naturally pull back into this pose. Keep stomach muscles nice and tight. If you start to droop and round forward, I want you to pause and then start over again. It's all engaging the core. So if you want it a little bit more, Lift both legs up, extend the right leg, and you lift. Good. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax here. Sitting up nice and tall. Shake the legs out a bit. Tap the thighs. Lean back a little bit more. Again, lift both feet. Again, mod uh, variation, modification, keep the foot down. And then point that left leg, and we're going to lift for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax here. Shake it out again. Sitting up nice and tall. You're going to bring the heels together. So you'll notice these poses that we're doing in the chair, okay, that we do them standing up as well. So those that are sitting on the floor, I would probably just get in the chair because we're just warming up here. And then all you're going to do, so heels are sitting together. And some of us is that the heels will actually come up because of the way we're sitting. What I want you to do is try to pull, push your heels down and you're gonna find the stretch into the Achilles heel. And then side the legs. Sit up nice and tall. You're gonna lift the heels, lower the heels. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Mind you that the, the knees are facing the second, third toe. They're not in this way and trying to do it this way. Out, in, good. So it's like a frog leg kind of thing. So we're just coming up and down. Give me five more, five. Keep the toes on the ground. Four, three, two, one. Relax here. So what you should feel is the outside of those legs little burn. We're going to do another step. Let's do a set of eight. So here, bring the heels together, sit up nice and tall, pull that navel in, and lift up, down, up, down. That's seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. From here, you're just going to lift that right leg. And all you're going to do the right heel, excuse me, right heel. Sit up nice and tall, pull that navel into the spine. Pull the shoulders back, and then kind of roll the shoulders back behind you, like you're trying to bring the shoulder blades in your back pocket. So you're sitting nice and tall, right heel is up, and all you're gonna do here is gonna lift that right leg and you're gonna point down. Point, down, point, down. When you bring it down, toe will come down. When you take it out, Point the toe, bring it in. Out, in, five, four. Sit up tall, navel into the spine. Two, one, relax here. Roll shoulders back, right ear to right shoulder. Left ear to left shoulder. Relax here. So if you have weak back muscles, you will probably feel the back muscles fatigue a little bit. 
which is totally fine. So here, once again, lifting up, lift that leg up, out. Christine, you went away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, hold on. Your name's there. Okay. Can you see me now? I can see you now. Okay, okay. Woo. All right. Thank you for letting me know. Yes. So we're gonna do the opposite leg. Coming up here, take the foot out. Again, toes are out, heels are uh, together. Sitting up nice and tall, lift that left leg out, in, out, in. We're going to the side. Beautiful, five more, five, four, three, two, one, bring it in, shake it all out. We're gonna do that one more time. I don't know if you guys can see my toes. I need to move the camera a little bit so you guys could actually see the toes and what I'm doing. So we're gonna do the other side, one more set, but this time we're gonna add our arms. So sitting up nice and tall. So again, this is the first pile, first um, form. So here, right leg will come up or right heel will come up. Lifting the right toes, you're gonna come and bring it out, but you're gonna bring your arm out to the side. And as you bring the leg in, you're gonna bring it here. Nice and gracefully, out and in. Turn up the drop the elbow or drop the shoulder. Out, in, out, and extend. Even though you're gracefully doing this, extend through the toes, extend through the fingertips. Good, three more, three, two, and one. Relax here, shake it out. Good, other side, sitting up nice and tall again. Lift that left heel. Come out with this, the, the, the left toes and bring the arm out, bring it in. Out, in, out, in, out. In five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax here, shake it out again. Bring your hands to the side. Palms are facing me. And so remember last week, the flexion, the flexing of the arms, okay? So when we do this, we're just not wailing our arms away, we're everywhere. We're just actually using the small muscles. Forward, forward, forward. So use all the muscles you have to bring the arm forward. Good. So five, four, three, two, one. Bring the arms down, roll the shoulders back. Good. Again, we're gonna take the right leg out to the side, so we can come to the edge. We're gonna point the toe. And then when we bring it in, we're gonna bring it in just like that. Out and in. Nice, firm leg. So modification of this is actually pointing, in, uh, uh, pointing the toe, keeping the toe on the ground and sliding it back in. Out and in. Variation is keeping the leg up and bringing it in. Okay, so the inner thigh muscles is what we're working right now. Out and in, out and in. Five more, five, four. You can feel it in your glutes, pull that navel in. Good. Two more, two, and one. Relax here, bring the leg in, shake it all out. We're gonna do the same side, another set of eight. We're gonna add our arms, okay? So as our, our, our leg is out, our arm is out, okay? Lovingly with the shoulders when we bring it in, actually we're gonna take this left hand and bring it to the side of our chair. Pull the navel in, extend through the crown of the head. You went away again, Christine. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Let's see. You're back. I'm back. I don't know what's going on with my phone. And that went crazy this morning, too. I know. Hold on one moment. Oh, it's low battery. That's not good. Well, 
Give me one moment. Let me run. I'm like run and get my car. I'm so sorry. This is so live right now. Okay. Here we go. Sorry about that, guys. Perfect. Let's see. Wonderful. So we're going to do that one more time. Take the leg out. Bring the arm out. Hold on to the side of the chair with the left hand. Lift the leg. So variation, lift the leg or keep the leg down. So when we draw it in, we're going to draw it in. Bring the arm up and a slight bend. Out and bend. Looking to your left. Out. Bend. Good. You can even look at your arm. Out is the arm. And over is the head. Good. Two more. Two. One. And relax. Bring it in. Shake it out. Other side. So here, moving to the left side. Take the left leg out. Again, variation is lifting the leg. Modification is lowering the leg. Sitting up nice and tall, you can have your hands on the hip or one hand out to the right side of the chair. Lift that leg up for a variation of this. Point it out, bring it in. Out, in. Make sure you breathe. Inhale, exhale, bring it in. Inhale, and exhale. Excellent. Out, and in for three more. Three. So you should feel that the inner part of the thigh. Maybe in the glute. Last one. And bring it down, hand out. And when you bring it in, remember hands on the right side of your chair. When you bring it in, you're gonna lift and kind of curl and out. And curl and out. And curl and out. And curl. Good. Out, two more. And one more. So we're really stretching that side bend here and bring it in, beautiful. Last thing that we're gonna do in the chair. So here you're gonna take that right leg out, sit up nice and tall, come to the edge of the chair. So if you're sitting in the way back of the chair, it's not gonna help you any. Come to the front of the chair, you're gonna take the toes out. Then toes out, point them, press the heel into the ground, lift the toes, then turn the toes to the right. From here, you're going to lift. You notice my toes are to the side and you're gonna lower down. Lift and lower. Pull the navel in, sit up nice and tall. Up, 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 up. Good. Three, two, one, relax here. Excellent, same leg, let's take it out and out this way. Same thing, we're gonna take it out not too wide, and then bring it back in, squeezing the inner thighs together. Out, bring the inner thighs together and squeeze. Out, inner thighs together and squeeze, good. Squeeze, three more. Three, two, one. Relax here, shake it all out. So you should feel that all in the inside of the thigh, maybe the lower back. Maybe the glutes, other side. Point the toe down, sit up nice and tall. Press the heel into the ground, lifting the toes up. Lift the leg, turn the leg to the side. And you're gonna pulse up, up. Flexing that foot, up, 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 up. Good, three more, three, two, one, relax here. Sitting up nice and tall, same leg. We're gonna do the out and in. Make sure when you draw it in, squeeze it your thighs together. But what I want you to also do is grab the pelvic floor and lift it up at the same time. It's already kind of naturally doing it. But I want you to be more pronounced in it like you know that you are doing it, okay? So it's not, what we're doing is not only helping the external part of our body, but the internal part of our body. So lifting the foot out, turning the toes out, we're gonna take it out, squeeze the thighs, 
and lift the pelvic floor and then relax. Take it out, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good. Three more, three, two, and one. Relax here, shake it out. How's everybody doing, okay? Yep. Beautiful. So we're gonna come up from our chair, turn the chair out. We're gonna step back, hold on to the chair, but you're gonna step back like you're reaching for the chair. Making sure your ankles are under your hips and then you're just gonna push those hips back and like stretch out your arms under the armpit, your hamstrings. Good, and relax. Looking forward and then we're gonna do it again. Making sure you're breathing. Slowly come up, we're gonna step forward. We're gonna take that right foot back. Okay, so here, little small pulses here. We're gonna come up, pointing the toe up, up, up. Soften that left leg. So we're squeezing. What the part we're squeezing, thigh, glute, lower back. Pull the navel into the spine for support. Up, 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 up. Good. For five, four. Three, two, one, relax here. Switch it out, other side. Take the foot out. Remember, this is what we're not doing. We're not doing this. Small lifts, small lifts. Tighten this, the thigh muscles, glute muscles, small lifts. Good. Keep it moving for five, four, three, two, one, relax here, bring the legs in, hands onto the hips. Roll them um, hips for yourself and roll to the other side. So you can keep facing your chair, but I wanna face you guys. And what we're going to do here, you're gonna hold onto the chair with the left hand and you're gonna slightly lean to this left. You're gonna point the toe, soften the knee, bring it out, in. Out, in, out, in, out, in. So we're gonna add the arm and it's gonna be opposite. So when you take it out, hand is over the head. And then you're gonna bring it in. Out, bring it in. Nice and gracefully, point the toe. And the modification of this is actually sliding the toe to the ground, sliding it back in. Sliding it out, sliding it in. When the leg is out, the hand comes up, opposite what we did from the chair. When the leg comes in, arm comes in. Up and in. Variation, keep the toes up, draw it into the calf. Up, draw it into the calf. Good, two more, let's do two more here. And one more. And relax, shake it all out here. Excellent. We're gonna stay on the same side. But I just wanna move your hips, move your hips a little bit. Good. And then from here, same side. This time we're gonna take it out. Modification. Okay. As we draw the hand down and then draw the foot in, we are going to take it behind that front leg and a little dip. So it's like a like one of these, I can't remember what these are called. A bow, I guess. Um, and then you'll take out. And then when you bring it in, bend. Bend both knees. Bring it out. And cross that right leg over, bend both knees. Again, variation, taking the foot up, bring it in, cross. Up. Cross it over, or cross behind, up, cross behind. Let's do five more. You should feel the burn in your thigh. Up and down. Up, down, three more guys, nice and slow. Up, 
three, up, two, up, one. Good, shake it all out. I hope you guys feel that in your thighs, because I know I did. Okay. Switching it up to the other side. <laughs> So here, we're gonna point the toe. You can slide it out, slide it in, slide it out, slide it in, out and in. Variation, out, bring it in, touch the calf. Out, bring it in, out, bring it in. Again, now we're gonna use our hands. So we take it out, Hand over, bring it in, out, and in. Variate a um, uh, modification, toes to the ground, bring it in, out over the head, stretch out that left side body, and in, and out, and in. Good, now we're gonna take it where we're gonna cross that left foot behind the right leg. And then you're gonna bend both knees. Good, come back out. Bend both knees, cross it behind. Good. Nice and elegant, you can move the wrist. If you see me roll my wrist, you could do that. So many things that you could be doing here. And roll. Slide it out, roll it down. Slide it out. And roll it down. Bend at the knees. Good. Very good. Up. Roll it down. Should feel a nice burn on that right side of the hip. Up. Or you on your thigh. Roll it down. Beautiful. Let's do three more, guys. Reach up. Come down. That's three. Reach up. Roll down. That's two. Last one. Reach up. Roll down. Five. Excellent. Walk it out. Get some water if need to. I know I need some water. Good. All right. This one, you might need some wall. A wall if you have one. If not, it's totally fine. I think we've done it our very first class. So you're going to face your chair. And then you're going to lift that left knee up. So if you notice where my left knee is at, it's, in, it's not in front of my right, and it's not way back. Right here in line with my right knee. My left knee is in line with my right knee. You're going to uh, flex the foot, pull that navel in, kind of slightly drop the tailbone. Okay, so the pelvic kind of comes forward, but it's not so pronounced, okay? We're just dropping that tailbone, pull that navel in, here. So here you're gonna just gently move the leg back, make it an inch or two, and push through the heel. Push through the heel. Do you see that slight movement I'm doing with my thighs or my legs? It's not this. We're not rocking back and forth. It's here. Push, 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 push. So why I say a wall is really good is that you can stand against the wall, have your foot on the wall, and then you can actually use so line up the knees, so depending how long your legs are. Here, making sure your foot is flat against the wall, you're holding onto your chair, and like you're pushing the wall away from you. So those are the feelings that you should feel into your legs. The outer thighs, the glutes, all that. You're just pushing into that wall. So that's the same thing as what we're doing here. Control of your muscles. Again, not any of these back heel kicks. Here, and we're gonna press. Pull that navel in, press, press, press back, push back. Good. Just a little bit, and you should feel in the back of the thighs. Let's do five, four, three, two, one. Relax here, shake it all out, move those hips, shake the legs out. Woo! And then we'll do the other side. All right, bending of the right knee. Flex that foot, tail up, 
Drop slightly, drop the tailbone, drawing the navel into the spine. Good. Squeeze those inner thighs together and you're going to flex the foot and just slightly push back. Push back. Again, none of these. Just push back. Press to the heel like you're pushing a wall away. Good. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Breathe. Good. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax here. Shake it all out. Good. Facing me, holding onto your chair. Open your legs up nice and wide here. Hand on, whatever hand on the hip, put one onto the chair. You're going to bend the knees. Open the wide stance here. And all you're going to do is slowly come up and down. Smaller pulses. Up and down. Make sure your knees are facing your uh, second and big toe. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Good. Keep it moving. Three, two, one. Come back up. We're adding arms here. So if it's in your practice to do so, use both arms. But if not, you can hold on to the chair with one arm. And then when we do our another second set, you can move the other arm. So one arm at a time, okay? So again, we're going to pulse down. Come down. Get into that nice seat. Again, when you're here, pull that navel in. Drop that tailbone, okay? So here, as we come down, we're going to lift our arm up. And as we come up slightly, hand down. Up, pulse down, up, down. Look, notice I'm not locking my knees. This is not what I'm doing. I'm keeping this low stance here. Okay, so here and coming up. So if it's in your practice, up, down, up, up, down. When we come up, you can also roll your wrist as you come down. Roll them back up as you come up. Work with it, play with it into this. Okay? Up, down, up, down. Good. Two more. Up, roll it down, up, roll it down. Good. Walk your feet in. Shake it out, and what you should feel is a nice burn in the thighs here. Excellent. So here, we're going to take it out once again. Shake it all out if you need to. Shake the legs, because we're squatting for a good while. So we did this last week. I love this is because it's worked my calf, my inner thighs. So we're going to squat down. You're going to pick that right heel up, and we're going to take it up, down, up, down. Good, good, three more, three, two, one. From here, you can heel toe in, shake it out, and we'll do the other side. So turn the toes out again, come into the squat, lift that left heel, bring it down and up. Then we're gonna do a whole flow of this. So five, four, three, two, one, relax, push back up. So now we're gonna add all what we did together. We're gonna squat. So again, if it's in your practice to come up and down with the arms, you can We use one arm at a time. So as we squat down, arms are up, down. Five of those, okay, we're gonna do five of these. So here we go, up, five, Four, three, two, one. From here, you one side, right heel up. As the heel is up, hand is up and down. Up, down, that's four. And three, and two, and one. Beautiful. Other side. So if you have a chair there, use a chair or place your hand on the hip. Left toes will come up, hand will come up, and then down. Up, keep that squat, chair's in my way, and down. Up, that's three. Up, two, up, 
One, good. Bring the toes in, shake it all out. We're gonna do another set. And we're gonna change up our hand motions here. Okay? So here, as we shake it all out, come into this position here. As we lower down, hands are gonna come forward like you're holding one of those big balls. And as we come up, you're gonna open up the hands. Remember, no locking of the joints. Keep that low position here. And as we slowly come up, open here, open, good. Three more, three, two, one. Beautiful, hand on the chair, hand on the hip. Right heel will come out. As the right heel is out, keep the arm out. When you bring the heel down, you're gonna bring it in. Notice I didn't drop my arm here. Everything squared, shoulder, elbow. Wrist out and in. Out. Look at your hand if you like. Good. Three more. Two more. Breathe. One more. Other side. Keep that low position. Left heel will come up. Hand will come up. Don't drop that arm. As you bring the heel it down, bring the arm out. In. Out. In. Good, three more, three, two, and one, beautiful, walk it in, shake it out guys, that was hard, do you guys feel the burn, <laughs> I do, <laughs> awesome, all right, so I have about 10 minutes, so what we're going to do is now we're going to get onto the floor, I know some of you guys don't come to the floor, which is totally fine, we always have the chair. Another great thing, since we're home, we can always do this in our bed. <laughs> so if you face, if you're in your room and your bed's close by, you can get on your bed so you don't have to get on the floor doing this, okay? And it's probably really cool to do it on the bed is because you can do it once you wake up. Just a few movements here and there. So we're gonna come onto the floor. See if you guys can still see me, yes. And what you're going to do is lay on the floor, bring the feet to the ground. Have your knees six inches apart or pretty much the uh, same width as your hips. So your knees are not like this, your knees are not like this. Right here. And as you lay down, and those that are in the chair, you could probably notice it, like the arching of the back, okay? But when you lay down, you can feel this arch in the back. You can actually even take your hand and slide it under. So as you slide it under, you feel that nice bridge or this nice arch. Now what I want you to do is I want you to inhale. And then as you exhale, draw that navel to the spine and pull that spine down to the ground where you're like squeezing that hand. So this is the engagement that I would like for you to hold. And you can still breathe. You can still talk by doing it. Inhale, this is my arch. I release it. Belly would be nice and open. Exhale, drawing the navel in, squeezing that belly. Inhale. And exhale. So right now it's slightly like a cool down of the body, but we're still working the muscles. Inhale, inhale, exhale, draw it in. So release that hand. You can keep it there if you want to, so you can know if you're actually pulling the navel in and tightening the belly. I'd like for you to bring the hands to the side. I want you to arch the back and figure out the body as you pull that navel under navel in and you can feel that lower back touch the ground and then arch the pelvic bowl if you notice is rocking with you up down up down let's do about five more of these that's five four three really pull that navel in on that exhale two and one, excellent. So here, let's draw the knees over the hips. 
Okay. You could always place a hand under your tailbone if you wanted to. But what we're going to do is you're going to pull that navel under or navel in so that the spine is touching the earth. That's where we're at right now. You can have the hands to the side or holding onto your mat. And what you're going to do is you're going to point the toe. Right leg first. Good. Just pointing the toe. Now, of course, the lower you go, the more of an arch you're going to have which means pulling that navel even deeper into the body. This is a variation that we're doing. Modification is always putting a leg to the ground. So out, in, out, in. Excellent. Pointing that toe, having the control of the leg. Let's do three. Three, two, one. Bring it in, switch it out to the other side again. Variation, both legs up, and you're extending that left leg. Good. Pull that navel to the spine. Support your back, or you can drop that leg down. Okay. Keep it moving. Good. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Three more. Three, two, one, and relax. Excellent, move the knees side to side. If you're doing it correctly, once you relax the body, you can feel the stomach muscles release. That's when you know you're doing it right, all right? So we're gonna do this again. We're gonna add a little twist to it. Bring the knees over the chest. You're gonna extend out, lift up, down, bring it in. Did you guys get that? <laughs> so here, take it out, lift up, 90 degree angle. Bring it in, in 90 degree angle. It doesn't have to be high, guys. Modification, bringing the foot down. Extend, up, down, in. Out, up, point that toe. Draw the navel to the ground. Good. Keep it moving. Important to draw that navel to the ground. Three more, three, two, woo, and one, bring it in, shake it all out. So what we do with one side, we gotta do the other side. Planting that right foot or bring it over the head. Take it out, in, out, up, down, in, in. out, up, down, in. Good. Keep it moving. Modification. Put that foot down. Draw that navel to the spine. If you're noticing you're arching your back a little bit too much, pause. Start over again. Three more guys on this side. That's three. <clears throat> That's two. Good. And that's one, bring it down. Lower the legs, shake it all out. Excellent. So from here, come into your butterfly, let your leg relax for a moment. Breathing here. So what I want you to do is the outside of the feet are to the ground, correct? In this butterfly. Hands are to the side. And what you're going to do is that you're gonna lift your rear end off the ground by pressing into the ground with the outside of the feet and down. Up and down. Now, if this is too much for some people, there's always another way of doing the uh, hip um, raises at this time. Bring the feet up, I mean the knees up, feet to the ground, coming into bridge. There's another way of doing it. When you do it in the butterfly, you're actually using those internal muscles, internal the thighs, internal muscles of the thighs, when you do bridge, you're also using, you're using the top of the thighs. Notice that difference. And of course, both of the poses, you're actually doing glutes as well. So again, here in butterfly, <clears throat> hands to the side, and you're gonna push the hips up, down, up, up. Again, inner thighs here. I can feel it in the outside of the thighs. Glutes as I squeeze my pelvic up, up, 
two more. And one. Good. Again, this is the bridge that we were doing, pulsating it up, up. Beautiful. So whatever position you're in right now, come back into this position, <clears throat> bridge position. And I want you to take the right toes up, take the right toes to the knee, left knee. Draw all that left heel to your body. And then gonna lift that left heel and then lower that left heel. Lift, lower, lift, lower for three, two, one. Then I want you to draw that left knee into the chest. So now we're stretching this part out. Hands, right hand will go into inside of the thighs. Left hand, the outside of the left thigh. Interlace the hands behind your head, your left thigh. Breathe, relax, open up that hip. Good, hope you guys are doing good out there. And relax, excellent. Slowly take that right toes up, ankle circle here. Ankle circle the other way. Lower down, left toes up. Take it to the side. Good. Draw the right heel to the side. I mean to you. Lift up three times. Two. One. Bring the knee into the chest. Again. I get in. <clears throat> Good. Excellent. Stretching it all out, bringing the foot down, left foot comes up, ankle circle. And other way around. Excellent, guys. Here, roll, I mean, bring the heels back and forth, or the knees side to side, I'm sorry. I'm gonna show white. And then slowly come up. Excellent. Woo! I hope you guys enjoyed today's class. I know I did. I enjoy it every time I get to teach you guys. And I believe Angie's up with chair yoga. So I hope you enjoy your day. It's supposed to be beautiful today. And if you have any questions or you would like to just chit chat, um, you can always email me, email me at my personal email va community yoga at gmail.com um you know if you have any questions or if you have questions now you can definitely post it on um the zoom and whatnot so i enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope to see you guys soon you guys take care thank you happy day